Hello, this is the third video in the series I am making to show how to make the my maple leaf design. So we left it here that we've done the first bottom lobe and the, the second lobe here, and now we're at the center, the largest one here. So we're going to carry on the work. We've done the last join, we've done the last chain five and joined to the next pico on the self closing mock ring. So we're now at the top lobe. So it says chain eight, C8. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And give it a tug again to get a nice curve. You want this to keep curving nicely. Now we're, re oh, no, sorry, we are not reversing work. I need to properly fo follow my own patterns. So it says R4. two, three, four, and make a pico using the 11 millimeter gauge. So place it against your tatting like this and make the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, remove the gauge. And that makes this nice long pico. A small pico, which would be a joining pico, and eight stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and close the ring. Then it says reverse work and make a Josephine knot of seven stitches. I'm going to give this a little Tug again to make sure the curve is nice. So Josephine knot of seven half stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And close it. Like this. Reverse work. So we're up for a chain and we're making a chain of five pico one. Not five picos, but five stitches, one pico, one stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, a small pico and one stitch. This small pico is just really to help the shape at the tip of the the lobe here. That's where I join reverse work. Josephine knot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and close the ring. Or the Josephine knot, I should say. can see how I take my time to close these because they're they are a bit hard to hang on to while you're closing them. Reverse work. Then we're going to chain one, join to that tiny pico we just left, and five more stitches. So chain one. Make sure there's no gaps as always. Join to the small pico. And five more stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then it says lock join, as we did before on the, on the other lobe. We're going to lock join to the end here, or to the tip of the ring that's in the middle. So using your left hand shuttle. And before you tighten it, you want to make sure there are no gaps here. I'm going to snug the chain one more time before I complete the join. I'm going to pull here to make sure it's nice and close. Close. And tight. 
tighten the lock join like this. Reverse work. And Josephine knot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse work, chain eight. I'm going to fold the leaf out of the way so I can tuck my chain stitches. Make sure there's no gaps. And eight stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Snug your chain and join to the next pico of the self-closing mock ring or rather of the throne rings attached to the self-closing mock ring, but I hope that's clear from the pattern. Like this. And now we're going to carry on with this chain. So it's chain five in the pattern and join to the next pico. One, two, three, four, five, and join to the next pico. So now we're going to be ready to make the one, two, three, the fourth lobe of our leaf. I'm going to turn it the other way around. You can see it taking shape. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.